the third edition of the intra-african trade fair which took place in cairo from the 9th to the 14th of november connected tens of thousands of visitors and buyers and is expected to have generated 43 billion dollars in deals this uh, is a platform where we can really meet uh, all policy makers decision makers financial institutions private sector we can all come together to tackle very important uh, developmental issues that is facing the continent. The IATF is Africa's largest trade and investment event, attracting thousands of exhibitors, visitors and buyers, and generating trade and investment deals running into tens of billions of dollars. Its third edition placed a strong focus on recognizing growth opportunities for intra-African cross-border trade and investment. Some 1,600 exhibitors showcased the diverse trade potential across Africa, and 42 countries participated in pavilions, fostering regional collaboration. We used to, to, to participate to the fair in Senegal. It is the first time we participate in the fair in the, in the international. And it's very interesting because um, we meet other people who come from other countries in, in Africa and we are doing uh, a very good networking with uh, and we we hope that uh, it will help us to export in other countries is uh, a new instrument i have seen to promote uh, the inter trade with our countries and i think is also one of the mechanism to promote and to strengthening the integration uh, process in the Africa uh, Union context. The IATF is leading what will be the biggest free trade area in the world. It brings together continental and global players to showcase and exhibit their goods and services and to explore business and investment opportunities in the continent. In addition to African participants, the fair is also open to businesses and investors from non-African countries interested in doing business in Africa and in supporting the continent's transformation through industrialization and export development. This has been a mind-blowing experience. From day one, I've been here. Uh, one of the best best conferences and trade fairs I've been to, bar none. Um, you know, probably the best well put on um, with some of the highest level individuals across the continent of Africa. This year's forum hosted signing of different kinds of agreements between organizations. The Arab Africa Trade Bridges Program, a multi-donor inter-regional program, signed two agreements aimed at fostering sustainable growth and development. We uh, felt during this uh, few days that we are actually uh, benefiting a lot from also from the new initiatives that have been launched during uh, this very important uh, uh, event, which is really held under the patronage of the uh, president of Egypt. And we are very uh, happy to say that during these meetings, we have had uh, also participated uh, as uh, ITFC, ICD, uh, participated in a uh, number of sessions where we try to also uh, you know, share our knowledge in uh, different fields, especially related to, to Africa. Uh, it was an opportunity for all of us really to, uh, to sign also a number of uh, agreements. The agreement is aimed at harmonizing African standards for textiles and leather products ensuring a transformative change in the African fashion industry. It further reinforces AATB's commitment to fostering trade development and quality enhancement in Africa, building on the success of the recent harmonization of pharmaceuticals and medical device standards initiative. Both harmonization initiatives are aligned with the objectives of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. One of the priority sector currently 
uh, we signed an agreement with ITFC and Afrexim Bank is uh, the priority sector on textiles and leather. Uh, this sector is very important for Africa and it has been also identified by the AFCFTA as the one key sector that can develop and create job on, on our uh, uh, continent. Also, a partnership agreement was signed between ITFC and the International Trade Center under the umbrella of the AATB program to mark the initiation of Phase 2 for the transformative How to Export with the AFCTA program developed collaboratively with Afrexim Bank. ITFC is the General Secretariat for the Arab Africa Trade Bridge Program and we are also in charge of the implementation of the operation plan. Uh, we are fulfilling the mandate of the ATB and the objectives to realize the objectives of, of the ATB, which is connecting African markets with the Arab markets. Uh, we have been contributing to, to this objective by, through different initiatives. We are keen uh, to uh, you know, be embarked in the initiatives with also IATB partners and institutions, uh, arriving to the connecting different markets using different means, including trade facilitation, trade promotion and trade development. Les entreprises y trouvent leur compte, mais aussi les autres partenaires y trouvent leur compte. Ce qui fait que vraiment le déplacement a eu une importance capitale. Nous tenons vraiment à les remercier. En tout cas, l'agence pour la promotion des exportations, c'est une agence qui encadre, qui aide, qui assiste les entreprises sénégalaises pour l'exportation. C'est pourquoi nous sommes venus ici aujourd'hui. Euh, et ce que nous avons vu, en tout cas, nous avons eu beaucoup de visiteurs, beaucoup de partenaires, beaucoup d'officiels sont venus et ces partenaires sont vraiment intéressés par les produits exposés par nos, nos entreprises. Vraiment, je tenais à les remercier encore une fois de plus, surtout à ATB et Michel Saber aussi qui a tout fait vraiment pour nous inviter. Nous participons à cet événement pour la première fois sous la bannière du programme AATB. Et je peux vous dire qu'on est très ravis. On remercie le programme pour, pour tout ce qui a été déployé afin que notre pays puisse prendre part à cet événement. Et le Cameroun est l'un des pays en Afrique qui bénéficie du programme Arab Africa Trade Bridge. C'est un programme qui est important pour un pays comme le Cameroun qui aspire à être euh, émergent à l'horizon 2035. Les échanges commerciaux et économiques et les investissements sont prioritaires pour le gouvernement camerounais et nous comptons pour euh, arriver à cette fin sur euh, les partenaires comme euh, ITFC qui a mis en place ce programme et aussi d'autres partenaires qui viennent aider le Cameroun à se développer à travers les échanges économiques et commerciaux. The Arab Africa Trade Bridges Program, which is set to directly benefit several African countries, namely Benin, Cameroon, Senegal and Togo, will share the fundamentals of exporting within the framework of intra-African trade. <music>